Hey, Aisha girl, happy birthday. I would say my favorite memory with you is when we went to um, Miami, I think like back in 2015, and we had went to this party that was just whack. And so we come back to the room, and me and you was looking at each other like, we ain't trying to be in the room, it's only 12 o'clock. So we went in, changed our shoes, and headed back out. So we are walking, talking, and we ended up um, at the Clevelander. And so we, because we had heard music, um, so we just mingling, talking to people, having fun. And then we had met these guys that were just, you know, being nice. And um, her name, <laughs> we, well, we had a, you know, unwritten rule, you don't give guys your real names. Um, so um, I think she was Christine from Pennsylvania, Connecticut or something. And I was Shauna from DC. Uh, but long story short, you know, we had a good night and we ended up coming back in like five in the morning. Uh, my advice, uh, when you get in your 30s, you start saying stuff like, I'm 30 years old, I don't got time for this shit. So that works out good. <laughs> and um, that's it. Um, you're doing great. Love you. Happy birthday again. Um, see you in Vegas next weekend, girl. Good morning, Thought Thought. My favorite memory of us together was doing the mobility project for Dr. Hill's class, where we had to ride around in a wheelchair in DC and I didn't want to do it, and you made me do it anyways, but to the cars riding by, you look like you were cussing out a disabled person, but in reality, you were trying to get me to do the right thing, which probably very common during our time together at Howard. Um, just wanted to say that I couldn't have made it without you during those two and a half treacherous years, and I want to wish you the happiest 30th birthday ever. I don't have that much advice to give because I'm not even 30 yet myself, but just keep on keeping on and do the damn thing out here in the streets. And I cannot wait to see you. A grandmother, I was excited. I was so happy and I was wishing for a girl and that was the girl. She was the girl, thank God. I wanted someone, I wanted to be a girl, not a boy, because I had two boys. Thank God, thank you Jesus, that you made it happen. And she's such a queen. I love her dearly. I am so proud to be her grandmother. And I'm so proud she's my granddaughter. Absolutely a queen, she is. I thank God every day for her and her parents for having her for me. Oh, you know what? Her walk. The way she walk in them high heel shoes, that's my favorite, baby. She knows she can run that, that red carpet. She can strut her stuff. I love it. She's the queen. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. And I just love, I love the, um, the woman that she has, became, that she became, okay? She's her own woman. She don't wait for nobody to lead her. She's a leader, and I love that, okay? She just steps on out and just, she's like, girl, this 30th, that's, that's another page, another chapter. This is a new journey, and I wish you all the best. I wish you God's blessings. I wish you love, happiness, prosperity. I wish you everything up and above, over and above, the best for you. Because you are that queen. I keep saying that. You are. I love you dearly. And I hope you enjoy your birthday. This is your 30th year, and I know each milestone, everybody want to do something different, something wow. So whatever you do, make sure you're safe, okay? Be careful. All right? That I love you. Oh, yeah, my Virgo sister. We started our Virgo celebration a few years ago. We just, just the Virgos get together, and we go out, and we have lunch, brunch, or whatever together. And we do it, we do it every year. And this is something that we're gonna continue doing as long as I have breath in my body. We're gonna do this. We're gonna carry this out because it's special. Just us Virgos, nobody else. No levers, no this, no that, just us. Because we are the best. Don't y'all get jealous, we are the best. <laughs>